So this is um, Austen's Pride and Prejudice, uh, told by the servants with karaoke. So it's the five female servants of a household who narrate the story and uh, are our uh, allies in the world of the story. And then they perform the part of every character, whether they're male, female, high status, low status. And in doing so, they they commit a, a transgressive act where the most rich and male character is played by the female servant. video which only you folks have seen so far is um, actually an example of the karaoke language that we use in the show. So it's a fantastic Elvis Costello song covered by the all-female surf ensemble and they perform this as part of cleaning this grand um, Regency era house and this is very much the language of the piece overall in the sense that in moments of heightened emotion, uh, not like a musical but like a karaoke pub in Glasgow at midnight, people grab the microphone and they sing out. But it was Andy Arnold who was and still is the artistic director of the Tron Theatre, which is in Glasgow's Merchant City out in the East. Um, he's got an extraordinary theatre artistic directorship legacy. Um, he well, was the man behind the arches, which is a very famous artistic Glasgow institution that were sadly, very tragically, sadly shut down. But Andy, um, in 2018, wanted, he was interested in a restaging of a literary classic. And that was when, at that point in my life, I read the novel for the very first time, age 28. So I wasn't a big Austin person or anything before that, it was a new experience. And it was so immediately hilarious, Pride and Prejudice, to read it that my mind was blown. I thought all notions of this being sort of lofty and intellectual and exclusive are, are, are not really founded. Um, here I can see that this is a riot. When I first opened the show in Glasgow, I we, we got a standing ovation on our, our first night. And it was a different show back then, but it had about it something of the spirit which I believe it retains which is that theatre should be joyous and celebratory and we're all here to laugh at sort of how inherently absurd but also kind of exquisitely joyful it is to be human.